This video is about 10 most interesting things you always wanted to know about Chevy Chase. So get the popcorn and a drink of your choice ready. The show is about to begin. Cornelius Crane Chevy Chase is from 14 generations of Blue Blood New Yorkers, a wealthy family that dates back to 1624. Far from a model student, Chase was kicked out of a few schools before eventually graduating as valedictorian. Chase worked various jobs, including being a cab driver, audio engineer, busboy and fruit picker, according to sources online, while he worked towards a goal of becoming a comedian. During SNL's first season, Chevy Chase introduced almost every episode, with the iconic, Live from New York, It's Saturday Night. Comedian, is known for the catchphrase, I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. Chevy, was discovered by SNL creator, Lauren Michaels, one day while standing in line to see Monty Python and the Holy Grail. National Lampoon's Animal House, was originally written, with the cast of Saturday Night Live in mind. The role of Otter, which was played by Tim Matheson, was written for Chase. However, director John Landis, wasn't interested in making Animal House a Saturday Night Live movie. So when he met with Chase about the role, he subtly tried to dissuade him from taking the part. Landis told Chase, that one of the benefits of Animal House, was that it was an ensemble, so Chase wouldn't have to carry the weight of the film's success on his own. He was counting on Chase's ego, to prevent him from signing on to an ensemble cast. Chevy Chase's first starring role, was opposite Goldie Hawn, in Foul Play. The actor said the following about the movie. Everybody seems to like Foul Play, so I'm beginning to think it's a good movie, but at the time I didn't think so. I was very much against them making me fall off the pier, into the water. I never got over that. I was so pissed about it. In 1981, Chase starred opposite Carrie Fisher, in The Wizard of Oz spoof, Under the Rainbow. The film takes place, during the making of The Wizard of Oz. Chase met his third wife while filming Under the Rainbow. The movie, got terrible reviews, and bombed at the box office. Years before, there was talk that Saturday Night Live, might turn into the Chevy Chase show. Fox was interested in breaking into the competitive late-night arena. So they approached Chase to host a Johnny Carson-style talk fest, The Chevy Chase Show. Chase described his reasoning for returning to television. I'd say, I've done only five movies in my life that were any good, but that was a particularly bad time. There was a whole slew of cops and Robersons, just films that didn't measure up, that didn't stand for anything comedically. They were purely for a paycheck. So I thought, ah, let's try something new. So I went to Fox with this late night show.